today i will discuss about uh, high hemoglobin low hemoglobin all of you know it is called anemia and can cause many problems and it is a much more common condition causes weakness malaise fatigue uh, tiredness and breathing difficulty more common in women and also during pregnancy and also with malnutrition but uh, there is a condition where hemoglobin is high and that also can be a problem so recently i came across a young man who was in 40s and who was having severe headaches for a long time for almost 5 to 6 months and uh, local physicians thought that it is migraine they treated it still the headaches were not subsiding when i went through his reports i could uh, clearly see the said that hemoglobin was high it was 18.2 and uh, i repeated the hemoglobin here it was still 17.6 and as you can make out it is high because normal hemoglobin is around say 14 to 16 for uh, men and about 13 to 14 for women so any hemoglobin in a man which is more than 16 or uh, or in a woman which is more than 14 is on the higher side we also look at something called as hematocrit now hematocrit if it is uh, say more than uh, 49% in men and more than 48% in women it is taken as abnormal and this condition is referred to as polycythemia so polycythemia is a condition where hematocrit is high hemoglobin is high and that this leads to some kind of hyper viscosity where the blood is little on the thicker side and it can present with many symptoms most common being headache dizziness and sometimes the vision can reduce for some time sometimes they have weakness which is for short while and then it can also lead to clotting in other places one rare symptom is while taking bath they can be pruritus or itching at the back so basic thing i want to highlight is that high hemoglobin also is not normal it needs evaluation and when you meet a physician he may conduct certain other tests to find out the reasons and uh, you should also make sure that it is not due to dehydration as you can understand with dehydration also hemoglobin can go up and uh, and then there are many causes even including smoking which can increase the hemoglobin levels people who live at high altitudes they can also have high hemoglobin so that is normal but you know of course smoking is not normal but smoking also can cause high hemoglobin levels and sometimes it can be a mutation and in that condition it is called as uh, polycythemia vera so there are many other causes also which your doctor will evaluate and try to find out why the hemoglobin is high now once the hemoglobin is high hematocrit is high the simple treatment is something called as phlebotomy where the blood is withdrawn at weekly intervals until the hematocrit falls to below 45% there are medications also commonly low dose aspirin may be used because as i said uh, high hemoglobin high hematocrit can increase the risk of clotting so use of aspirin can reduce the risk of clotting now in summary i would like to say that uh, when you notice abnormal hemoglobin either low or high both are abnormal especially high hemoglobin should not be ignored it can cause simple problems like headache and sometimes serious complications like clotting of blood can also occur so when you notice high hemoglobin or high hematocrit consult a physician and try to reach the root of root cause of the problem so that it can be diagnosed properly and treated